Hi, it's Carl Allen back with you for another bite sized deal making tidbit video. So, today I'm going to talk to you about what I call the anatomy of the perfect LBO, the perfect leveraged buyout. And there are three things that you need to nail in order to get the perfect LBO deal. And we call it the triad. Before we talk about the triad, let me tell you what an LBO is. There's a more detailed video on what is an LBO, but essentially it's a Wall Street term. I used to do LBOs back in my days as a Wall Street investment banker, but an LBO, it stands for a leveraged buyout. It's buying a business using other people's money, which could be debt, it could be equity, and using the seller's own money, seller financing, so paying for the business in the future, using the future profits, the future cash flow of the business and of the deal to pay the seller over time. So. Back to the triad. So the anatomy of a perfect LBO has three key components. So first of all, at the top of the triad, the deal has got to fit your requirements. So if you're an existing business and you're buying another business, then you want to buy something that's strategically going to add value to what you're already doing. So for example, if you own a software company, it might be a good idea to go and buy an IT services company. Then you can sell the software to the services customers and vice versa. And as you bring those two deals together, there'll be lots of costs that you can take out. So that would make lots of good strategic and economic sense to do that deal. If you're an individual, if you're an entrepreneur, and you want to buy a business uh, that's been already built rather than starting a new business from scratch, then you want to be buying a business that's highly related to you. So it's in a sector that you know and that you understand, it's in a sector that you're really passionate about, and it's in a location that's accessible to you, or you might want to be an owner investor versus owner manager, so you don't need to go into that business every day. So nailing the requirements, your deal specification is the first part of the triad, the anatomy of the perfect leverage buyout. The second part of the triad is then all about the seller. So it's not the business, it's about the individual. Because the best LBOs that I've ever done, and the hundreds of people that have done deals inside of the Business Buying Accelerator coaching program, they found sellers that for whatever reason are highly motivated to come out of their businesses. They might be sick, they might be sadly dying in some cases, not just them, could be their family members. They might be frustrated, bored, tired, burnt out, run out of ideas, or they may just want to retire. As you know, according to the Wall Street Journal, there are 10,000 baby boomers every day retiring from, from their life, from what they're doing, and one nine, 19% of them, according to Forbes, own a small business and they don't have an exit strategy. So finding somebody like that, that's the perfect kind of part of the triad number two, somebody that's got some form of distressed seller psychology, but the underlying business is really, really strong. And that leads us nicely into point three of the triad. To do a perfect LBO, yes, it needs to be a deal that fits you. Yes, it needs to be a motivated seller. But number three, it has to have a financial profile that's going to be able to be done as an LBO. So if the seller wants a closing payment, then the business typically needs to have some assets, which you can leverage for financial financing. So that's not you raising the money, that's the business raising the money using its own assets as collateral. Or you may want to go down the SBA route, which is completely irrelevant to assets. But with SBA, you need cash flows. And in any sort of leverage buyout, the business needs to have future cash flow to allow you to service the deal and either pay the seller over time, or if you're taking the money from the SBA, you're able to pay back the SBA, the interest and the capital repayment typically over 10 to 15 years. So if you nail all of those three things on any deal, that is the perfect anatomy of a great leverage buyout. So I hope you found that useful. That's the triad. I will see you on the next video. Until then, bye for now.